Good morning, everyone. It's the uh, Tuesday, the 6th of October, and we've had uh, pretty exciting news this morning regarding the discovery of a Kimberlite pipe on um, the Lucarpa license. Um, first of all, we just might be an exercise just to measure the the extent of these these pits so from the extreme west to the east uh, well, we've got a distance of about 1.4 kilometers so uh, not sure if that represents the entire size of the pipe or maybe there could even be two pipes represented in the uh, in the area where they're pitting who, who would know I think the interesting thing was um, came out of one of the uh, the hot copper posts we had was the fact that uh, this accumulation of of uh, diamonds in this area here where the artesian miners have been working and pitting away and our company's been mining this block A with quite a bit of success over the last six weeks. Now, one of the things I think we should try and understand, if it, you know, I'm not an expert in this, but um, the accumulation there might be consequence of uh, of the land mass here slipping away and taking the Kimberlite clays and accumulating them across this front here. Look, uh, if I remove the company's overlay, we can have a closer look at some of these areas here. So if we zoom in, if we zoom in closely here, you can see this is the the landform which will be higher, this whole area up here, and this is the lower part of the landform. But if we zoom right in, you can see that this this, this rectangular, uh, sorry, triangular block here, is broken away, and it's in the process of slumping down into this fan-shaped valley here. So I think that's the process we're looking at here. The erosion isn't due to material being washed down here. Well, it would be partly due to that, but it's probably a lot due to the, the collapse of this land area here, possibly because of the uh, soft nature of the kimberlite itself. And I don't know the exact mechanism by which the diamonds are accumulated in these styles of deposits, but it all looks like pretty good news to me for the minute. Obviously, we have to wait for the uh, you know extensive pitting, which they've done quite a bit of already, and um, also um, then I'd imagine they mentioned drilling, so it could take me many months to establish you know the, the full or better idea of, of if this contains diamonds and if they could possibly ec be economic in the future. But um, I think it's all looking very positive. Interestingly, it'll be interesting to see if uh, further along where we have more of these artisanal workings, if there are other sort of slump style areas that might mimic or duplicate this scenario. Oh, well, good luck, guys, and thanks for listening.